Hello and welcome to episode five of the Productive Wellbeing Show. I am so excited today to be joined by an EFT practitioner who is also a courage and confidence coach and her name is Carolyn Whitehouse and today um, oh. she's going to give us an introduction to what EFT is or tapping um, and teach us something that is an absolute superpower um, when it comes to understanding how to change your state straight away. So if you're yeah. joining us live, please write live in the comments. If you're joining on the replay, write replay. And wherever you're joining us from, let us know because we would love to um, hop on the comments afterwards and say hi. And if you have any questions that come up as we go along, also leave a, leave a comment. And Carolyn and I will be hopping into the comments afterwards um, to answer your questions. So Carolyn Whitehouse, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you very much, Abigail. It's lovely to be here. Yeah. And I just also have to say, Carolyn is joining us live from Thailand as well. So thank you, technology, for making all of isn't this it, possible. Isn't it wonderful? It's amazing. Absolutely. It yeah, yeah. So um, where shall I start, Abigail? Well, first question is, because I asked my Instagram, my... Um, community on Instagram, I asked them, do you know what EFT was? And 80% said no. So Carolyn, what the heck mm. is EFT? <laughs> is EFT? Okay, EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique, or abbreviated, it's called tapping. So and it's called tapping because that's what we do. We tap on our face and our, and our meridians. So um it was introduced in the 1970s. Uh, it's a form of psychological acupuncture. So similar to acupuncture, but obviously without the needles. Um, but what we're doing is using the meridians, the energy lines in the body to release emotion, anything, any emotion, any energy that's stuck. Yeah. So, um, and what that, how we do that is by tapping on the, the meridians. So. Probably the best way for me to um, explain it is to demonstrate it, yeah? So we start off when we do uh, an EFT round, which is the whole of the face. Um, what we do is we start off with a setup um, statement. So the setup statement is usually what the issue is. So let's, for example, take fear, because there's a lot of fear out there at the moment. And so we would start tapping on the side of the hand, yeah, with the, what they call the karate chop, and um, anywhere between the end of the wrist and the end of the little finger. So one finger, two fingers, three fingers, it doesn't matter. And the and sit -up if If you're Sorry? joining us now, if you're tuning in, then follow along. And if you are listening Absolutely. to this on the replay or on the podcast and you can't see what we're doing, um, Caroline and I have recorded an 18 minute video for you to show you what this is about. And um, we'll also be sharing uh, some pictures showing you where these tapping points are that Caroline's talking us through now. Yeah. So what, before we get into something, why don't you show us uh -huh. where the nine points are on our body? Okay, so th this is the first one. All right, so we do the setup statement here. All right, and then the next one is on the top of the head. And we can do this with one hand or two hands? Can be one hand, two hands. I've had some people who like to alternate. <laughs> Doesn't matter. And we do five to ten taps on each point. Yeah. And the next one is the side, the inside of the eyebrow. So this where your eyebrow starts here. And again, you can do it one fingered, two fingers, doesn't matter. And, and you I can do it with three, I don't know why. Okay, three is fine. And you can do one side or the other side, it doesn't matter. So it works equally. All right, so that's the that's the next one. So then the one after that is at the end of the eyebrow. So follow your eyebrow round and tap at the end of your eyebrow. That's it, yeah. There we go. So that one's really good for anger and resentment. If there's any frustration out there at the moment. And underneath, follow, follow your cheekbone round and right underneath your eye where the pupils of your eye are. 
That's it, that one there. That's it. And this we've one got, is... We've got, uh, just sorry to interrupt, we've got Jodie Mack joining us from Vancouver, Canada. She can't sleep. Wow. Hi, Jodie. Wow. Well, this would be great if you can't sleep, Jodie. So join along, yeah, um, because tapping is excellent to get you back to sleep if you're struggling. So that's the, the um, fear and worry meridian. Now, underneath the nose is the next one. Amazing. Yeah. And then in the chin, that hollow in between your lip and your chin. Yeah, that one there. Brilliant. And then the last, last but one is the, if you follow your um, collarbone along, there's a, there's a gap in the middle. And if you come down a centimetre or two, just there. Now, again, you can do it two fingers, three fingers. You can use the flat of your hand if that makes it easier. Yeah. Just tapping onto there. And that is hopelessness. Amazing. Uh, yeah, I so there can be a lot of that. When I find myself in a queue, <laughs> I just find myself so, tapping. That's, that's me. And then, and then our final one is under the armpit, right? And then the final one is under the armpit, yes. I don't know why I put my hand on my head when I do this. It, it reminds me of that, like, tapping. <laughs> yes, it reminds me of the tap your head and rub your tummy thing. When you're it? a kid. <laughs> so that's the nine points. Awesome. Before yes. we go into a quick round, um, what can it help with? What kind of um, people, clients are you working with and using tapping to help? Okay, it can work with um, anybody. Uh, we, I, I work with children, uh, teenagers, adults. Everybody can tap. There's no age restriction on it. Um, it can help with any kind of emotion that people are feeling. So whether they're worried or they're scared or they're angry or they're frightened. Um, it also works with... Sorry, I'm going to have to turn my phone off. It also works with... Um, uh, with phobias, with depression, post-traumatic stress and trauma. Um, yeah, all sorts of pain in particular it's very good for. So if you have a headache or a period pain, really good for dealing with that too. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So this is an absolute superpower. Um, and how does it actually work? I mean, you said it's meridian points that are in us. And so what is it doing? Is it moving the energy through us? Is it moving the energy out of us? Um, and also, what, 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 what is your answer to, to the skeptics out there who are like, this sounds a little bit weird. I don't <laughs> what am I doing? I'm like patting a part of my face. How can this actually work? Absolutely, absolutely. And, and, you know, for many years that has been part of the reluctance for it to be adopted because there hasn't been the research behind it to actually know whether it's effective and whether, you know, whether it's actually doing what people claim it does do. Um, but now there's plenty of research to show that it does work. And the way that it works is it sends signals to the brain to calm the emotional centre of the brain. So it's getting it to de-escalate. Um, you know, when it, whenever the body senses that there's stress or there's a, a anxiety, something's about to happen. You know, the old the old thing about the tiger about to leap out at you. Um, when the body detects that, obviously it starts to initiate a stress response. So the tapping, particularly at the time when you're feeling that stress just sends that signal to the body that it's okay, you don't need to get stressed, you can relax, stay calm. So obviously we can, so we can meditate, we can do all sorts of other things for this, but this yeah. is a great sort of almost first step when you're in that and, and you just can't, you can yes. tap out. So let's do a fear Absolutely. thing. Then. So suddenly I'm afraid. What do I do? Okay, okay. Grab the side of your hand, start tapping. Okay. All right. So even if you're just watching the news, you can do this. So if something comes up on the news and you, you feel that stress response, that tightening in your stomach or the, the, the lump in your throat, you can just do this. Yeah? Okay. You don't need to do anything. 
And what am I uh, saying? You don't need to say anything if you don't want to. It, it okay. works when you don't use the words. Amazing. Okay? Oh, I didn't realise that. So you can do it without words. Okay. You can do it without okay. words. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's do a, like a, a tapping sort of a couple of cycles through with around. a round. Yeah. 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 Okay. So let's, should we do it on fear? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to keep it nice and simple. And we're just going to say, even though I feel all this fear, even though I feel all this fear, it's okay. It's okay. And I'm okay. And I'm okay. Yeah. Even though I have all this fear in my body, even though I have all this fear in my body, I accept this feeling. I accept this feeling. And I accept myself. And I accept myself. Yeah. Even though I have, have all this fear, and let's say it's in your stomach, yeah, all this fear in my stomach. Even though I have all this fear in my stomach. I accept it. I accept it. And I accept myself. And I accept myself. That's it, nice and easy. And then we're just going to do what they call re reminder statements. So we're going to tap on the top of the head. And we're just going to say all this fear. All this fear. Yep. And then on the eyebrow, all this fear. All this fear. Good. And then at the end of the eyebrow, all this fear. All this fear. I'm keeping it really simple for the viewers. Just yeah. so that, yeah, because it's... Are you, you can, following along? Obviously, you can't you can't write and tap at the same time, but I hope you yeah. you're doing this yeah. with us. Yeah, and then under the eye, all this fear, all this fear. Yeah, and then under the nose, all this fear, all this fear. That's it. Like I say, if you're not sure about the words or you don't know quite how you're feeling, you can just tap. Yeah, and it will send that signal to your brain to calm down amazing yeah okay and then the collarbone and the last one underneath the arm that's it if you've got any questions about this or any patients <laughs> anything please put it in the comments. If you're watching this on the replay, say replay. If you're joining us live now, tell us where in the world you are watching from. Um, yeah. And as I said, Caroline and I have recorded an 18 minute um, tapping sort of explanation and session so that you will be able to yeah. find out a little bit more about this. This was just to, to yeah. give you an introduction to it and um, yeah. explain a little bit more about something that is a mystery but for me certainly is yes. like having a magic power a switch that i can it just is. It is. It, tapping and i've learned something new today Absolutely. i didn't realize i could do it without words and i yeah. uh, i've been doing it yeah and you can also do it on children as a as a parent you can do it on your child as well so yeah it's great now can i just answer your question about the it looking weird and um, because a lot of people do, you know, they see it for the first time and it's very kind of you know, out there. And uh, the, the magical thing about EFT is that it works even if you don't believe that it works. Okay, so it's really, um, really effective. And um, if we've got time, I just want to give you a few um, statistics yeah. about the sorts of things that it, it can help with. So they did a... Um, a study in uh, 2013 of 31 participants on a five-day workshop and they measured them all before and after the workshop where they learnt EFT for 12 hours of practice. Wow. So all the participants noticed a reduction in their negative emotions. So anxiety went down by 39%, depression went down by 46%, PTSD, post-traumatic stress, went down by 32%. Pain went down by 66%. And food cravings went down by 80%. It's amazing, isn't it? Wow. And then on the positive side, happiness went up by 13%. Their immune function went up by 61%. Their heart rate improved by 8%. Their stress levels went down by 
Yeah. And their blood pressure went down by 6%. Amazing. This is I mean, absolutely It's a, incredible. It's yeah, it's life-changing. Um, yeah. And, and the beauty of it was that after 60 days, they had maintained that reduction. Wow. So something that they did for the day and then, it, you know, the effects disappeared and they didn't, they didn't feel like that again. It remained for 60 days after the workshop. Wow. And can we have the link to that so that we can share that also with sure. the um, with the comments? Um, so if you ha have joined us for today's session, if you've joined live or on the replay and you would like to know more about Carolyn and what she does and book a session with her, then Carolyn, how can we get in touch with you? You can get in touch with me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, and also on my website, carolynwhitehouse.com. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. And thank you for joining us. You. Um, if you joined us live, you. if you watched on the replay, it was so awesome. And give it a go and let us know and share this uh, with others. So next week, we've got somebody on talking about trauma. They're going to explain to us what's actually going on and why we're feeling as we're feeling. Um, we've also got a stress reduction expert and um, a motivational um, speaker who's going to be giving us some tips and tools. So thank you so much, Carolyn, for joining us. You're live. welcome. You're very welcome. And thank you. Else. And to everybody, if you're live, have an amazing weekend. If you're watching this on the replay, have an amazing day, time, whenever you're catching up on this. So thank you. And see you on Monday live at 11 o'clock.